Hey guys, welcome back. For those of you that have been following this channel for a while, you know that I've brought up the topic of Lego buying regrets in the past. And it's probably not the type of regret that you're thinking of where you buy a Lego set, bring it home, you build it, you sit and look at it and you're like, shouldn't have bought that. For me, it's kind of the opposite. It's seeing a set, hoping that it someday goes on sale, either seeing it on sale and passing on it or having it never gone on sale, and then eventually it kind of just goes out into the universe, never to be seen again. Well, actually to be seen again, but at much higher prices. Today's video is the story of one of those sets. Come on into my computer and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now I could give you any number of examples of this happening to me since I got back into Lego collecting like five or six years ago, but today's video is gonna be about this set. This is Lego Creator Expert set 10230. This is titled Mini Modulars. This is 1,356 pieces, and as you can see, this is a micro scale set, which I know turns a lot of people off, but for me, I really like micro scale. I think it's interesting, I think it's fun. I don't have any of the real modulars or the big ones that this is based off of, so I thought this is my chance to get as close as I could get to buying those. Here's a little bit of a better look at it, but this set came out back in 2012, just before I got back into collecting and originally sold for $79.99, which I think is pretty reasonable for the piece count here. And I remember seeing this set, it must have been around for a little while because I remember seeing this probably in 2013 or 14, and I remember seeing it on sale. I think it was like $60 or something like that. And Cheapskate Greg, if you guys didn't know, I'm a bit of a cheapskate when it comes to buying Lego sets. I didn't do it. I was like, I'm not spending that much money on that. And unfortunately, it became one of the stories like I just told you where I missed out on it and now it's gotten a little more expensive. Let's go over to eBay here and I'll show you some of the sold listings here. These are all new sets. If you want to buy this new, you can see what this is selling for. So it's like $139, there's $160, there's $125 with $15 shipping, there's $180 with $8 shipping, there's $140. So as you can see, just like any other Lego set, this has gone up in price, which is totally understandable and it really makes you regret not buying it. And even used, going all the way back to February here, but here's one for $85 with $10 shipping, here's $74. With $13 shipping, here's $80 with $9 shipping. So as you can see, this set is even used, open, built, sometimes without the box, it's still going for as much, if not more, than what it sold for originally. I will say this though, on eBay, if you search long enough, hard enough, or just happen to go on at the right time, you can end up finding some really awesome scores on there, which is what happened to me with this box right here. Ended up doing a little bit of searching on there, and I'll show you what's in here. You guys already know, of course, from this video. Did a little bit of searching for newly listed with offers, and I was looking for buy it now is typically that have an offer that I could throw a low ball at them and see if they accept it. Ended up coming across a mini modulars. This <laughs> Spoiler's completely out now, but I ended up coming across a mini modular set, used one of course, but it was an auction, not a buy it now. It had like six days and like 23 hours left. The person had a starting bid of $27 on it, and I think the shipping was $14.88, it's right on top of the box here. So I wasn't sure what to do with this. I've never actually put an offer on something that had a uh, an, like an auction going on. So I was thinking, man, they probably want like 50, 60, 70, $80 for this with the shipping and everything. So I did exactly what you'd expect me to do. I offered them $30, which is $3 over the starting bid. And they did what you wouldn't expect them to do, which is accept my offer. So I ended up getting myself a mini modulars for $30 plus $14.88 shipping. And if Mathitect is right on this, that's $44.88. Pretty good score. Now, before you start jumping up and down with joy like I did when I won this auction, I will say there is a small caveat to this, and that's that one of the plates inside is bent, which is not a big deal to me because I have a whole bunch of plates over here, hopefully the right one. We're gonna crack into this here. This box is a little insane for what's inside here. Let me put my giant microphone beside it. That's a little much if you ask me, but maybe it's just a lot of bubble wrap around it. Can I even get the shot here? My goodness. Oh, and look at the tape. They got this super professional tape on here. It's not like that Amazon tape that you can just rip to shreds like it typically does. I'm gonna have to work for this one. As I cut through my set inside and you guys all laugh at me. Yikes. Oh, I got a little peek of it in there. I can see it a little bit. This is gonna be the most unconventional box opening you've ever seen. We're gonna go absolute savage on this and just go like that. Wow. Bull wrap. You, uh, to all future eBay sellers, this is not how you, oh my God. This is not how you ship a box. Literally the entire set is inside here. What in the world even happened here? Okay, let's uh, 
I'm not really sure what to say about this as I throw a box behind me here. It is kind of crazy that you have an $80 set here, literally in these two bags. Makes me feel like I, like that might be a little high on the price, but it's all these little tiny pieces that add up to the 1300. We got two manuals at this. There's one and two. They're in pretty good shape. Not folded, of course, which is nice. Where's that bent plate at? I want to see that. That's the thing I'm curious of. It's in one of these. I think it's, I think it's right here. Let's pull that out. While I'm taking this out, can I complain a little bit about that shipping? Like if you're going to use a giant box, use a little more bubble wrap. Like don't even use bubble wrap. Like guess use the actual bubbles like Amazon or Walmart or any other place that ships professionally uses. Don't just put a small box with this little bit around it and inside a giant box for the post office to kick around and mess up. Speaking of mess up though, this is the bent plate right here. This may be the reason they're willing to accept such a small amount. It could just be they were expecting to get $30 off this or okay selling it for 27. And they were like, all right, I'm gonna throw it on for 27. I'll make some money off the shipping too, probably. Although they didn't. As you can see here, they spent 14.88 to ship this, which it would have been a lot less had they used a proper box. Could I rant anymore about that? But we did get this bent plate. So that obviously takes a little value away. Everything is bagged up here nicely. And it looks like what they did for me here or what they probably did for themselves. I bet this is book one. And I bet this is book two, I imagine. Although it's kind of hard to say, I guess I'll know when I build this. I'll probably do a little bit of sorting with this to make my life easier as I build, but everything else looks good. Let's do a little sample dump here. Take a look at some of the pieces off of this, see how they look. I think it's pretty clean. I'll have to go back to listening here. Let's do that real quick and I'll tell you what their remarks were on this. Please pardon the super ghetto recording here. I'm just gonna do this with my camera on the computer screen, but this is showing the winning bid was 2760. That's what they listed it as. Again, I offered them 30. Shipping, 1488. Here's all the photos. They didn't show the picture of the box with everything falling out of it though. That's unfortunate. Down here, let's go down to the description. Lego mini modulars use bent plate. Originally came in this form. So that came like that. They should have hollered at Lego and been like, Lego, what's up with that? I've never had that happen to me. Any of you guys ever had a bent piece like that? I've had missing pieces, wrong pieces. Never had a bent piece like that. Back to the listing, it says, all pieces accounted for as shown in the pictures. Some damage to the box is pictured. Smoke-free home was put together on display and taken down as shown in the pictures. United States shipping or local pickup. Speaking of that, let's take a look at this box. Oh yeah, I kind of saw this in the photo. That's a little heartbreaking there. This whole flap is kind of coming off. How bad is the rest of it? Well, uh, oh, what's this, a punch tab? I'm not an expert on 2012 Lego, but Man, that would cause me so much sickness to have to punch tab an $80 Lego set. But that's what happened here. Back looks okay. We've got a couple bins here. I mean, this is a seven-year-old Lego set. That's probably the worst part of it. You guys know I'm kind of like a box collector as evidenced by, uh, yeah. That's another thing that could explain why this was so cheap. Collectors are gonna be like, I'm not down with that. I'm not down with this. But for me, I'm gonna build this up, have it on display, enjoy it. And it's not a huge deal to me, especially for getting this for, I mean, let's go back and look at the prices here. You guys can see what these are going for. And what's that Mini Cooper doing there? I'm kind of confused by that. You got all these crazy prices. You got singles selling for $20 on here, $125. There's more singles. And then you got mine, $30. So yeah, at least in my opinion, that was a pretty good score for what this is. Just trying to get this set after all these years, I finally was able to score it and especially get it for that kind of price. I think this one's gonna be Deal Tech approved. I'm curious to see what you guys think. Let me know. Do you guys remember this set? Do you have any interest in this set? Do you hate micro scale? I'll be reading your comments, responding to you. I appreciate you guys for watching. And as always, next video.